to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and a new mug. My brother and sister-in-law bought me this black cat mug and it says Meowjical up in here and today's coffee is Starbucks peppermint mocha. Oh, so good. I got two 11 ounce bags. That should get me till at least December. I love it. And I love my black cat. And they also got me a gift card for coffee. I'm telling you, these things are great for my stuffy head. This is the eucalyptus. It's the one to breathe easy. It works. I'm telling you guys, it's worth it. The dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. Let me fix this camera just a tad. I have crazy hair. I literally just got out of my car from New Jersey. My brother and I left Friday. We drove to New Jersey to Rutgers University to watch the Buckeyes play yesterday. It's so cold. So cold. I have some video at the end and some pictures. And, um... You know what? I'll, you've probably already seen them because I'll put them at the end of my keto video. That's a good place for it since I, these tend to be a little longer. So we ran into the Dollar Tree while we were there, like you do. Um, they didn't have a lot of stuff I didn't already have, but I found a few things. So I wanted to show you. <gasps> Look at this. It's a foot file for any of you who are like me and have dry feet. This is a Greenbrier brand and in here it has a hair tie. How fun is that? Um, this is for me. I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm diabetic and I'm forever fighting the dry feet battle in the winter time. So I wanted to try this, see how it works. It's called My Beauty Spot. I'm loving the packaging. It's a sugar foot scrubber. Um, softens, roughens heels, toes, and feet. Buffs for, all, for a smooth finish. So we're going to try it. Um, perfect Christmas gift idea, guys. I will show you... Um, Today's gonna be today. You're gonna see this on Tuesday. So on Wednesday, I have a gift giving guide of frugal ideas of things that I've already purchased, and this you'll see this. So I grabbed that. Um, I found some sprinkles, a, a big bag, and they're the rainbow sprinkles. Now you know I don't need sugar, but I'm going to my cousin's house, and we're gonna make gingerbread houses. And I did talk to her, and I think she's gonna we're gonna video some. Um, but I thought this would be fun for the kids just to have some colored sprinkles if they want to, to decorate their, their gingerbread house. I grabbed that. Um, feast your eyes on this sorcery. What is this? Now, this is not, it's Global Beauty, so it's not the Dollar Tree brand. It is a peel-off mask with glitter and stars. Um, I think my niece and I are going to try this. We'll see. I'm excited. So it's a peel-off mask. Maybe I'll let you see what it looks like when I put it on. So I thought that was super fun. And that's a huge bottle. This thing has five fluid ounces. So we're going to try that. And then I don't know who I'm gifting this to, but look at these stickers. These are Harry Potter. And they are, they are, they say on the back, they are Harry Potter brand. It's a set of five leather look stickers, perfect for accessorizing your gadgets, bags, and stationery. Designed for one-time application, these stickers may leave a sticky residue if removed or repositioned. So, um, they're pretty thick. You got the nine and three quarters, the Harry Potter Expecto Patronum, the Deathly Hollows, and then I think that's a, uh, yeah, no idea. Anyway, Harry Potter. I know several people who are into the Harry Potter, so I thought, let me just pick these up for a dollar, and these will be gifted, or I know Sarah has some friends who like Harry Potter, so if not, I'll let her add them to somebody's gift. And then my brother picked up a calendar for his wife. They had a kitty cat calendar. Mm. If you are a fan of Christmas in a Cup, Peppermint Mocha, Starbucks. I got it. It's like $5.99. It's an 11-ounce bag, and I just brew a cup at a time. Delish. Okay, but enough about my coffee. Um, and then I came home and today, and I went, and I feel like I have more Dollar Tree stuff, but I can always haul it later. So I picked up a few things. Please look at the elf. 
This is nice plush. This is not the cheapy one from before. Yes, it's cheapy, it's a dollar, but it definitely is not falling apart if you give it to a child to play with. Um, he's coming to work with me. We may do Elf on a Shelf in the office, but we just need a friend and he'll need a name and then he will take some part in our Christmas month at work. But this, I'm telling you, it is, it's Greenbrier, but they are stepping up their stuffy game. It's nice and plush. It's super soft. Like I would, I would totally give this to a child. I would feel safe. Um, the eyes are not very embroidered. The nose is sewn on, so I wouldn't give it to too small of a child, but for sure I would give this to a child. And it's Greenbrier, Dollar Tree brand, but the quality is just so much better. And he's already ready to sit on a shelf somewhere. So I grabbed him. Um, first I was like, maybe I should elf my cats, but they, they wouldn't get it. They don't get things like that. I picked up, I was so happy that I found one. And I want to make sure nobody opened this. They did not. It is sealed. So, and I've told you, and you will see tomorrow, I'm making goodie bags. My little cousin, who's not really little, she's 12, I think. She'll be 13 in a couple weeks. She's a young t a tween. Um is having her girls over and we're doing the gingerbread house and I made them all goodie bags with stuff that I had already had. I planned for five kids, there's gonna be six kids. So I had everything, I was able to collect everything but the lotion and I could not find a matching lotion to the other girls and it was bugging me. It would have been totally fine. I had a tube of this stuff, the coconut and rose, but all the other girls got these, so I just kind of wanted it to be cohesive. So I found the one, the one at my stores, because clearly this is from the summer. But I think they'll love it. And this is watermelon scented. And I will show you the whole goodie bag when I do my gifting video. Frugal gifting video, please. Um, I found these. Please tell me these are not adorable little puppies. They're chip clips. I mean, they're calling them... Um, Power clips, food storage, you know, they're chip clips, guys. But these are the perfect stocking stuffer for the animal lover in your life. And these are dogs, so I grabbed them for my niece. And I did not find these. They were just, somebody had stuffed them on a shelf. I didn't see any more. But I'm assuming they came on some type of a clip. But these would be the perfect stocking stuffer. A little gift, a little tie on the top of a package. They're adorable. And they're useful, and they're pretty... I mean, it's a pretty good clip. Now, I did see rubber duckies, but I liked these. So, I grabbed those for Sarah. I picked up a package of these. They're just ornament hangers. Um, but I needed them for my Christmas tree downstairs, my real tree. And then I needed some for decorating my office tree that I'm taking. The little tree right here. This tree. And I needed, I have ornaments, but I needed some hangers so what I'm going to do because I buy these all the time and I lose them is I'm going to open them and put them in a zip bag use what I need and then put the rest with my Christmas decorations I have ornaments that are older that I need to replace so I thought today this is the year to do it while I saw them and you get 200 of these so that's a good deal for a dollar um Feast your eyes on this guys now again this is that weird fabric it's nothing I'm going to touch like as far as like I can't even handle touching it right now because it sticks to my dry skin but can you see the glitter this will just hang on my stove and I think it'll be pretty or maybe it'll hang in my bathroom in between like as a decorative towel in between the ones you can actually use for your hands but I they had this and they had a Christmas tree one but I'm loving this poinsettia you could also make pillows this un it's a 15 by 25, so it will be like a lumbar pillow, but you can glue two together and make a beautiful couch pillow out of this, and I just love the glitter. I don't think these would hold up well to washing, so they're definitely like decorative more so. Um, you could also use these as um, placemats, like on your coffee table, your end table. Yeah, these are awesome for that type of stuff. I just wouldn't use them as a towel because they're weird, but polyester-y, fabric-y stuff. When I was a kid, that's what our pajamas were made out of, and it drove me bronkers. I couldn't stand it. I would cry if my mom brought them near me. I hated them. I think it was like that flame retardant material. Oh, creeps me out. 
Um, but I digress. I did pick up some more candy. These are all the candy from this point forward is going to be for gingerbread decorating. The other candy that I have for office gifts is over there. And that will be a separate video of how I create little items to take to work or to school for your kids or from whatever. Um, but these are six lits. And I, I can open this bag. Um, I'm going to need to open it when I go. But if you've never seen a six lit, they're little like perfectly round M&Ms, basically. They're candy coated chocolate. But won't these be perfect to decorate a gingerbread house? I mean, think about it. We'll open them all up pile up a bunch of white ones to make a you know like a little pile of snowballs or you could decorate your tree or hang them on the um on the house like christmas lights i just think these are perfect so you get a fair amount in here of these little bags i am also buying m m's but i've just started picking up the different candies as i see them and they'll all They'll all go into like a Christmas gift bag. And then when I go, we'll just dump it down the table and let the kids go to town. Or if I'm feeling super organized, I'll get some of those clear plastic bowls from the fancy section at the Dollar Tree and put the different candies. Like open up all the six lits and put them in a big bowl and the kids can just pick and take. There will be six girls, six tween age girls, Debbie, me, and Sarah for sure, and maybe some of the moms wanting to decorate with us. So that'll be fun. And we'll play Christmas music, and I think we're decorating cookies as well. So the girls are going to have a blast. And because we're doing it at the beginning of December, that first weekend, everything in their little goodie bags that I'll show you, they can kind of wear their Christmas socks all month and use their pencils at school and all that. So I thought... This is going to be so fun, and I just love it. I love entertaining and and enjoying my nieces and my cousins and their friends and letting them know that they're important. Now, the last thing I found, which, holy smoke, I'm taking the tag off because you need to see this in its glory. This is at the Dollar Tree, guys. The Dollar Tree. It's a cat toy. Look at it. The boys are going to get this for Christmas because, well, they're spoiled, rotten little cats. And one of my challenges the next week before, this week before I decorate for Christmas is I'm going through all of their cat toys and I'm getting rid of, and by getting rid of, I'm donating them to people who have cats who will actually play with them. Or I have a friend that fosters cats, so I'm gonna give them to her and maybe she can share them or get, take them to a shelter or something. I'm not throwing them away, but my cats won't touch half of what's in their bag. And it's like, you boys. But this, and I'm going to spray it with catnip. And I think that, I know at least Alex will like it. Try to get that little ball out of there. And maybe for Wellington, I'll hide some treats down in here. I should have got two, but for goodness sake. They don't play with the stuff they have. I'm not even sure they'll like this. But I was super excited. Isn't that fun? It's not really large. But it's a tr it's a cat toy for a dollar. I was so excited, um, and it's a Greenbrier brand. It's part of the Cat Fast Track. It's called Cat Fast Track, and it's part of the Greenbrier products. But this will go under the tree, wrapped up for the boys for Christmas. They need Christmas presents too. Now I might have gone a little nuts, but I didn't find exactly what I was looking for. However, I'm only missing the tablecloth no the placemats of what I want in this set but that's okay um I did pick up and I'm sorry if you hate buffalo check or if you're tired of it this will probably be the last year I do my downstairs in this red and black so I'm like well let's have fun so this is one of those um cubicle box things and what I'm doing for Christmas is when I clean up all their toys I want to put it out with their Christmas toys out or their toys under the in my living room in one of these so it just matches my decor and then it probably will come up here because they have toys all over the house um because they're spoiled but I want I did grab one of these I'm debating if I'm gonna take some white Cricut iron on and put their names on it because I think that would be fun hi buddy not Alex is here hey, babe. Oh, he is not happy with me right now because I yelled at him. 
he got my house plant. He does this on occasion. He digs the dirt out. And I was mad. So I yelled at him. Alex. Oh, I do have some more Dollar Tree stuff. So hang on. I'll go get it in a second. But let me show you this. So I grabbed one. I just need one. And like I said, I may put their names just because it's in that cute. I found the um, pot holders. It says Deck the Halls. One thing you can do with these if you got the plain ones or now the boys are wrestling. You can sew these together and give them as a gift and people can put their, for girls, their um, flat irons in them for travel. If maybe your daughter, granddaughter, somebody's going on vacation and they use a flat iron, you would just sew these, leave the top open with that um, and you could just sew it or hot glue it down the side and across the bottom and then they can stick their flat iron. Um, that's not what will happen with these. It'll go in my kitchen as just a hot pad holder. I found oh, that's cute. one of, I found more, but I only picked up one of these plates. It says cookies for Santa. It's not for me. I'm going to give it to, um, a family that I know with cookies at Christmas time. And then the kids can, if they want to use it, if not, it's just super cute, but I'm going to fill it full of cookies and put it in a bag and gift it for that. So that is a gift. And then I've picked up one of these for me and it says down here, tis the season. Now I only got one. I don't, um, I don't use this kind of a charger because my tablecloth is going to be this color. I have some wood grained chargers that I'll use when I set my table, but I'm going to put this on an end table. Like I have a table in my kitchen and I'm going to put some pillar candles and then some like bells and stuff around it. And it's a dollar. I don't really care if the candle wax gets on this. Um, but if you do care, what you can take is some press and seal and cut it and seal it to the bottom, especially if you're going to fill it with stuff. And then when Christmas is over and if you get any candle wax on it, the press and seal will come up. You can use saran wrap as well. And if you're filling it with little like trinkets and bells and stuff, you won't see that there's actual saran wrap. And if you use clear saran wrap, you wouldn't see it anyway because it's clear. You just want to make sure this is really clean, kind of cut a piece, trim it to fit, and then stick it in there. And then when the candle burns and if the wax gets on it, if you want to reuse it. Now, these are definitely not food safe, not dishwasher safe, not microwave safe. It's just plastic. But what you do with them, if you want to, you put a white plate or your dinner plate on here. And it's called a charger. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm going to put... Uh, probably black I'm hoping I can find three pillar candles of different heights and just make it like a little focal point somewhere probably might maybe even in my bedroom to go on my cough on my dresser but we'll see give me one second I'm gonna grab the other items okay I'm back I knew I had other things I found the gift wrap this is actually um Hallmark's version and it's a diagonal but it's still the buffalo check or the red and black plaid and this one you get 40 square feet which is plenty for what I'm going to do because I will mix some packages with this and some with the natural craft paper with maybe some black or red bows I can't really do too many bows the cats that is one thing Wellington has always attacked under my tree has been bows so I haven't used bows in years and I don't use um, tinsel on my tree or garland because he will get at that. Other than that, he, he just sleeps under the tree. But I can take ribbon and tie it down flat. And I'll show you how I wrap a package. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Look at this, guys. And the black is all gone at my store already. If you don't know what this is, it puts a candle out. So you take it off. Do I have any scissors over here? Oh, I don't need scissors. They had this in gold, in copper, in silver, and black. I just wanted the black because it's going to get dirty. When you're putting on a candle, it's going to get dirty. And I have a candle to show you. But look at it. Isn't that so fun? These would be a great gift as well. You could put one of these with a candle to give somebody if you're gifting a candle. So what you would do, this candle is lit. You push this in. And it smothers the, the oxygen from the candle. Mm. And it um, 
puts out the candle and you're not blowing it by blowing it you're you could be putting wax everywhere it's messy so one of these now like i was saying though it does get dirty um you just i was just gonna leave it downstairs but it matches a lot of the decor i have in my house and i think it'll be super fun i should have picked up more than one but i gotta stop buying two of everything and nope I will use it, but I don't know if anybody else in my family will. So I grabbed one of those. I just happened to run across it. Um, this was the other item that I ooh, needed for the girls. Goodie bags they are all getting this exact bath bomb, and I was super happy to find it. The thing was, I didn't want five of one thing and one random. If I, that had happened, which was a possibility, then I would dump everything out and kind of make mix and match and everybody would get something random. I didn't want one person to get random stuff. That's not fair and it's not fun for a, a little small, you know, a child. But everybody has one of these too, a bath bomb. So I grabbed the bath bomb for them. Um, You know, I'm always buying t-shirts and I picked up, look at this green, how fun is that? It was a dollar. This is an adult extra large. I try to buy all different sizes of these t-shirts. Um, I think this is for me, probably for the summertime, St. Patrick's Day. It actually matches the Huntington Green of the company I work for. But I love to have these on hand to, um, to decorate or what, even just wear. It's a pretty color green. And these are Gildan brand t-shirts. So these are, this is a nice quality, 100% cotton t-shirt. So I grabbed one of those. I have a, a storage bag full of just different sizes and colors. Okay, and the last thing that I picked up is one of these weird tree skirts. I feel like this is supposed to be for a full-size tree. I don't know. Um, I certainly am not sticking it under my tree. However... I'm hoping to cut it down and put it under my miniature tree. So what I'll do is lay it out. I need to see if it'll even work. The only tree skirt that they had there that I could find was um, sparkly and it won't go with my decor. So I'm hoping that I can use this fabric and create some type of tree skirt. And I will just use the plain, the plain side on it so we'll see what and i'll show you how it turns out if uh when i do the tree decorating for this little tree that i'm taking to work with me but these are cute they came in different colors of red i wanted the dark red my tree is going to kind of look like this with the the red the black and the white and my gnomes are going to match it so i wanted a tree skirt so that is everything that i got today um in the last few days um I hope you enjoyed and next up tomorrow I will have a frugal gift guide and I'm just going to show you some of the things that I purchased and put and putting together for gifts for folks using discounts coupons Dollar Tree clearance items on sale and I hope that you can get some ideas all right guys well I hope you enjoy and you have a good one bye